One fish, two fish, blow fish, blue fish. Blue fish. Yes, this is a very, um, <laughs> this, um, this episode uh, is a very well known one. I think it's, it's seen as one of the best of season two. Yes. And uh, a masterpiece. It's basically the one where Homer eats the poison fish and uh, looks like he's going to die, but he doesn't. Yes. You'd say that's a pretty good uh, summation of the episode. That is very good. No B plots. He literally goes, eats it, and the whole episode is him coming to terms with his own mortality. He only has 24 hours to live. Um, and then he does many things during the day to try and make his last day meaningful. It's almost like a Richard Linklater film. It is. It is uh, almost like that. Or any morality play. <laughs> yeah, so it was odd going into uh, one, knowing it was uh, such a renowned classic. Yes. Um, so far, we've mainly watched ones that have been middling. Um, the one that I knew was a classic before was Bart Gets an F. Well, what about it? Itching, Scratchy and Marge, that's a classic. That's a classic. Fine, we've had two that going in and I knew were classics. Yeah. Uh, and Bart Gets an F. That's what I said, Bart Gets an F was the first thing I said. No. Yeah, but yeah, so um, going so, in with the classic ones is always odd. Um, yeah. But yeah, this is a really good, um, a really great episode. No, oh, it lives up to its name. And, um, I, ignoring the whole plot point of the restaurant probably would have just pumped his stomach. Yeah. To get the poison out, ignoring that plot uh, device. Yeah. The episode works really well. It does. Well, I think mainly that is just to set up the idea that he only has a day to live. Yeah. It could be anything. Um, I think the episode Home Has a Triple Bypass is better. Yeah. It deals with the same sort of stuff, but this is a great episode. Yeah. The only thing I didn't like was I thought that the like first seven minutes in the restaurant were a bit odd. Well, with the slightly racist Japanese... Yeah, with those slightly racist Japanese caricatures. Yeah. Played by George Takei. Yeah, George Takei, he, he plays Akira. Oh, right. Yeah. But, like, uh, it, it's quite quick, because it's de definitely a product of the 90s, where, like, going to a sushi restaurant is a is a quaint and strange thing to do. Yeah. Uh, obviously, now it's like... You, you well, Yo Sushi, they've made Yo a huge sushi. brand out of it. And yeah. Yeah. I, th I, I think there's, like... There's... Five Japanese restaurants just in like Leeds city centre. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's crazy. It is. It is. Um, but yeah, so the episode is mainly an excuse for Homer to reflect on his mortality. I think this is definitely one of the early season uh, ones, like, well, season two obviously, where everyone says it is more realistic and he actually lives up to that. There's nothing in this that couldn't be done in a live action show. That's true, yeah. yeah. Um, but it's still, I mean, it's amazing they managed to get this, um, this fairly emotional episode. Oh, yeah, yeah. They, they um, fit loads in. Yeah, it's not sentimental really, though. Or, um, well, not sentimental, that's it. Uh, exploitive. Yeah, it's not exploitive. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's not exploitive. You actually feel for him and his family. Yeah, they they, they do like the right level of stuff. I think uh, I think he, like each scene they, they, they take time to do scenes of like every single character. And they almost treat the episode like this really is Homer's last episode. Yeah. Like uh, like maybe it was the nineties, and this was the first time watching it, and he didn't know that this was like midway through the season. Yeah. You might even be convinced Homer might be dying. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, it, it goes a long way to, to convincing. But obviously now you know that you know he's gonna live. Yeah. You know, no well, yeah. This what. isn't even a twentieth into the show. No, no. It's like you, you know he's gonna live. You know he's gonna gonna make yeah. it through okay. Um, but obviously, but you know that, that's just that, that's yep. a natural thing with the Simpsons, isn't it? You know, it's uh, yeah. It's always got to return to the status quo at the end. Um, yeah, um, every see every episode, every scene in this is almost a masterpiece of mixing comedy and drama. Yeah, yeah. Like, um, what it, it's fairly episodic though within the episode itself, where it is like, visits one person, then another, then another, then another. Yeah. So but, you, you get yeah. scenes with Bart. You get a scene with Bart where it's uh, Homer showing him how to how to be a man. You know, the yeah. three things to get through life. You know, oh god, you're a boss. So it was like that when I got there, and uh, yeah. Well, it just it mainly shows him how to shave and teaches him uh, Homerisms. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's it's um, it's funny, like the way he puts aftershave on after bleeding, and it's yeah, uh, yeah, um, like that classic gag. Yeah, the classic gag. There's also um, a classic scene in this that I had forgotten was in this episode, where it's the anger denial acceptance one. Oh yeah, that's a yeah. great scene. That is, that's, yeah. um, it's yeah. held up as being a great one as well. It's really well timed and uh, yeah, yeah but, uh, early classic scene. But yeah. Um, apart from the first seven minutes, every scene is just a mini masterpiece in and of itself. Yeah, yeah. The one with Lisa's very emotional, where he's first he's listening to the saxophone and she's playing it sad and then he gets happier. She plays it she plays, uh, when we're saying to go marching in. Yeah. And he, and he gets the lyrics wrong. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that's really good. And I, I, I like um, when he goes out and, and re uh, reacquaints himself with Grandpa. Yeah, that's good. I really like that, yeah. 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 
where he just says, I love you, Dad, about, about to make a peace with, uh, <laughs> with, with, uh, with Abe. Yeah. Yeah. But he's like, oh, we should do more, son. Yeah, there's even um, a uh, Bart Rings Moe's Tavern gag. Oh, yeah, I wasn't expecting that. Yeah. No, no, and it's um, Seymour Butts. Seymour Butts. Which is like the archetype one. Yeah. Um, this has got a little bit of everything in it, really. There's even uh, a spoof of a graduate. Yeah. Like, uh, <laughs> that was it. odd. That yeah. really didn't do very much with what it had. No, it was like, gotta get home to Marge! Marge! Do, 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 do. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and he's like, Marge! They, 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 they did uh, spoof of the graduate better in the episode where Grandpa's gonna marry uh, <laughs> Bo Mrs. Bouvier. Mrs. Bouvier, yeah. That's they, brilliant, that. They're doing much better, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mrs. Bouvier! I've been right at the end where we're sitting there in the bus and he's like, Hey, two and a half! Yeah. But yeah, um, yeah, great, great episode. Um, definitely deserves to be a classic. Mm -hmm. Funny, emotional, perfectly paced, really. So, a uh, fit apart from the first, um, I mainly thought the first seven minutes were a bit rushed and, uh, or oh, a bit like when it's singing I'd, along I'd, to I'd, Shaft. I'd, I don't know whether I'd say rushed, there was just something about it, it wasn't as. Just a bit of padding. Yeah, padding. Padding, maybe. They had to get... I don't know. Because, because again, like the whole Japanese angle, maybe it was quaint back in the 90s to see Homer and Lisa... Uh, sorry, Bart and Lisa, like, karaoke singing. Yeah. That's like... Yeah. Well, the bit where they sing Shaft, like, That's what's weird. the joke? <laughs> yeah, it, it, I, I guess it's kids singing a... I don't know. Uh, but why did they need to cut back to it a second time? That's true, yeah, because we do, don't we? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's, that's weird. It is weird. Um, yeah, not really a big fan of the first seven minutes, but after that, you're talking classic Simpsons territory. Yeah. I and don't know where... Oh, sorry. It's all right. And, and the ending as well, when, uh, when when Homer sits down to listen to the Bible read by Larry King, I think that's really great. <laughs> that's great, yeah. Uh, and then, uh, I hope at the end when Larry King's going on to his end, uh, it should be beget by the children and uh, <laughs> yeah. cast him down from heaven. It's like, well, we'll stop now and we'll go and make some coffee. And uh, all I gotta say is, good day. And <laughs> uh, I, I love the shot when uh, Marge wakes up and it, it's it's everything's really well lit. Uh, it's it, it's probably the, the best looking yeah. uh, shot that I think we've ever done so far. Like, Ooh, it, this looks vaguely artistic. Yeah. And it kind of pans down and and then when uh, when Marge thinks Homer's dead, you're like, oh god, <laughs> yeah. But they handled it really well. And I, I also like how they use drool as a plot point. <laughs> drool, it's like, yeah. It's drool. It's still warm. He's alive! Yeah. Great. Oh, great. and you got to talk about the, the credit sequence as well. That's a great joke. Which where, one? Well, it's just where Homer's like, I vow from this day forth, I will live life to the full. And then, <laughs> yeah. the, then the end credits just shows him just sitting down eating uh, pork rhinos. Yeah. yeah. Light pork rhinos. Light pork rhinos. Um, Dan Castellaneta as well, I think, deserves a mention. Yeah. He's great. Great, great, great. He manages to sell the comedy lines and yeah. the emotion to it. Perfect. He'd do better going forwards, but this is probably the episode where he's had the most to do so far. Yeah, it's got the most emotional range for Homer so far, definitely. Yeah. Um, I'm just thinking, is this episode's final 13 enough to push it to a 10 or is it a 9? I'm going to say a 9. A 9. Yes, it's very close to being a 10, I We're think. We're talking the closest, maybe, so far. Yeah, it's it's not my favourite episode so far. It's not as good as that Three Eyes and Every Fish one. But it's uh, probably my second favourite so far. High praise indeed. Um, indeed. What do you think of this episode? Can you barely remember it? So, uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if it, it and if you barely remember it, what the hell's wrong with you? Yeah, it's a, it is a great episode. Uh, anyone who's not seen this one, watch it. <laughs>